We're kicking off this update with all the enhancements we've been working on this year to Autodesk Fusion. As we constantly strive to improve and evolve, this March release introduces a suite of new features and capabilities aimed at boosting your productivity and creativity. Dive in with us as we explore these latest advancements and how they can be leveraged in your next project. Let's start off this update with the Electronics Workspace. We have implemented new capabilities for the Fusion Electronic Workspace that will improve and provide a better design experience. These include new features such as cross-selection probing and via stitching and expanded signal integrity extension capabilities to include coupling. Let's get started. In Fusion Electronics, the real-time synchronization between the schematic and PCB editor is paramount, ensuring changes are instantaneously reflected across both platforms. Disruptions in sync are promptly addressed with diagnostic support to restore coherence swiftly. We're excited to roll out an enhancement where selecting an asset in the schematic will also be highlighted on the PCB, enabling you to trace signals and components precisely. This bidirectional cross-selection functionality is integrated with your workflow, whether you're toggling through tabs or extending your workspace over multiple monitors. We're thrilled to bring you the latest game changer in Fusion Electronics, Via Stitching. This feature isn't just about upscaling your design, it's about precision control over your PCB's thermal management and electrical performance. Whether total PCB coverage or targeted areas, Via Stitching lets you effortlessly boost your board's integrity, adhering to manufacturer's DRC standards. Dive into more intricate projects with the assurance that your PCB designs will meet expectations. We're excited to share how the Signal Integrity Extension, powered by ANSYS, offers impedance and parasitic insights, enabling you to predict and correct signal distortion, thus facilitating the reliability and performance of your devices. With the latest update, the Signal Integrity Extension now includes coupling analysis for your most critical traces, providing sharper precision in signal integrity and electromagnetic interaction optimization. By tackling signal integrity challenges during the design phase, we're accelerating your path to market. Within our Fusion PCB design workspace, in design rule check settings, you can now disable non-functional pads. These are pads that cross internal PCB layers without electrical connections. Disabling them allows you to minimize annular ring sizes, which liberates space for routing. This enhancement is particularly crucial for applications in the gigahertz range, which require the space to break out of high-density components such as a ball grid array and vastly improve your manual routing efficiency in multi-layer designs. Our next update involves our Fusion Schematic SPI simulation engine. We've listened to your feedback and are excited to present a feature many have been awaiting, the ability to export simulation results directly from the engine. Now you can easily transition your data into spreadsheets, enhancing your ability to document and analyze every detail of your design's performance. With phase information neatly converted into degrees and compatibility across all our simulation types, we're opening doors to elevate your simulation process to new levels of excellence. Autodesk Fusion's open platform is pioneering new horizons, creating powerful synergies through integrations like ANSYS. We're delighted to announce a partnership with Cadence that transforms electromechanical workflows between Autodesk Fusion with Allegro X and ORCAD X users. This will empower Cadence users to adopt complex PCB outlines and seamlessly transition from 2D to 3D. With a 3D model in Fusion, you can design the enclosure or insert the design in the assembly and fine tune component placement while keeping synchronicity. This partnership provides a unified and efficient design journey, significantly speeding up your time to market. Into the design space, we're seeing some great improvements to some of the recently released features Thank you for providing your feedback. Let's take a look. The Replace Fastener command enhances design flexibility by allowing users to swap an existing standard fastener for a different type. This feature meticulously removes the previous fasteners, introduces the new choice, 
and recalculates all related joints to ensure seamless integration. Users can replace an entire group of fasteners by right-clicking on the group within the timeline or target a single fastener for replacement within a group by right-clicking on the specific fastener, either in the browser or the timeline, facilitating both broad and granular adjustments in design projects. We've enhanced the fastener libraries with some general quality of life improvements for greater efficiency and standard compliance. Our update includes the addition of 199 new set screws to match primary standards and the integration of seven new ISO-based national standards from countries such as Sweden, Finland, and Slovakia. Fastener stack construction has been made more streamlined with a new feature enabling one-click placement of washers or nuts onto bolts. The process for placing countersunk fasteners has been simplified, now allowing for the selection of circular edges to ensure precision. And finally, favorites has been added to the fasteners dialog, which lets users quickly access commonly accessed parts, reducing the need to navigate the extensive catalog. Configurations now support the reordering of table rows and columns, and there's also a search function to easily find configurations by name, version, or parameters. You can also now leverage script automations through the API for enhanced management of configurations data. This new capability includes write access to configurations via the API and the ability to manage extension support. For more detailed information, refer to the Fusion Help section in the Fusion API reference manual provided by Autodesk. Perspective views bring a dynamic sense of depth to designs, offering a visual experience that orthographic views cannot match. This more natural representation aligns closely with human vision, making it an ideal choice for instinctive manuals and assembly documentation, where clarity and real-world accuracy are paramount. Optimize generative design iterations for die casting with casting constraints that consider essential factors like minimum thickness for better flow and the right draft angles. The system intelligently selects a central parting plane to guide the application of these constraints, ensuring manufacturability. Up next is the Manufacture Workspace, which in this release sees new features and enhancements to increase productivity in your machining, additive, and inspection workflows. Arranging parts within the build area or build volume of a 3D printer is a key part of the print preparation process. When working with multiple components of different sizes, you now have the option to set the priority of the components when arranging. The priority can be set two different ways, either by volume or component-specific priority. Volume priority will start arranging components with the highest volume first. Component priority will allow you to designate individual priority settings per component, ranging from very low to very high. All three additive arrange types fully support the part priority improvement included in this release. When creating a tool for the turning of threads, there have been several new parameters added, increasing the flexibility and accuracy of its definition. A minimum and maximum thread pitch can now be set as well as the thread profile angle. When defining the tooltip, there are now three options, a point, flat, or radius along with a user editable field to set their size. Being able to define the gauge length of a tool holder allows accurate simulations of machining processes to be generated. Also, by making sure that the gauge length in Fusion aligns to the measured value of the tool assembly coming from the machine spindle face, you can verify that your tools have been set up correctly. When creating or editing a milling tool holder, you can now define a holder gauge length by including or excluding sections of the holder or by entering a length directly. For holders that exist already, the gauge length will be set as the total length of all sections created. Once the holder has been applied, the assembly holder gauge length can't be edited because it's referencing the assembly in its entirety. So any edits to the stick out length or holder gauge length will change the assembly gauge length. If you record a series of manual inspections with many different measurements, the graphical display can become overcrowded, making it difficult to keep track of the current item to be inspected. 
A new option to show only selected inspection makes it easier to visualize the current measurement by hiding the others which are not being actively measured. Probe geometry has supported prismatic features such as planes and circles, but the probing cycles on CNC controllers can support only common orientations. If you want a geometry inspection in a different orientation other than the z-axis, well then you had to create a new setup. Probe geometry uses the same probing moves now as the inspect surface to inspect planes and circles in different orientations. This allows you to probe angled faces, holes, and bosses, which you would not be able to inspect with probing cycles. Advanced Swarf and Rotary Contour toolpaths can now be optimized with toolpath modifications applying a Trim, Delete Passes, and Move Entry Positions modification. This brings Advanced Swarf and Rotary Contour in line with modification capabilities offered in other strategies like Steep and Shallow, Deburr, Geodesic, and others just to name a few. These two toolpaths will also support replace tool functionality, allowing users to maximize their use of shorter tools, providing better surface quality finishes, but allow the switching out to longer tool lengths where required. When it comes to data management, we're continuing to expand Fusion's ability to collaborate at scale as your team grows. One way is through enhanced roles, groups, and folder permissions. Expanding your team is as easy as adding seats of Fusion to your account, then adding team members to your hub, organizing them in groups, and assigning them roles and permissions. You can assign specific roles to both members and groups at the project, folder, and subfolder level, giving you more control over how your product data gets shared. There are varying levels of access to choose from depending on your needs and team complexity. The Bill of Materials is one of the most critical records in the product design process, as it is key in making strategic decisions around what to make, what to buy, and what to outsource. With Fusion, we're introducing the next generation of this important capability with integrated Cloud Bill of Materials. This not only directly links this record to the CAD model stored in Fusion, but will connect to other downstream systems and processes in the future. For this release, you'll be able to enjoy the benefits of flexible sorting, ordering, and column rearrangement of various properties and metadata for your design components. You can also share your bill of materials with a link or export to Excel if needed. One important aspect to note is that the bill of materials respects any security roles and permissions that you set up earlier, ensuring that only authorized people can see sensitive product information. If you have the Manage extension, You'll also be able to take advantage of auto numbering for selected bomb rows, as well as access a view of the released bill of materials. The extension will also now support item assignment for external components that contain configurations, with more configuration support planned in the future. There have been some general announcements that are worthy of a mention as well. We are continuing to improve the performance of Fusion. With this update, a reduction in startup times should be noticeable. Additionally, some designs will open up significantly faster. Dramatic improvements to the performance of large assemblies have been made. Copying, patterning, link breaking, edit in place, and appearance changes should now all feel more snappy across the board. You should also see improved frame rates when orbiting around your models, a more responsive data panel, and reduced lag when opening, navigating, and closing tabs. These performance enhancements will improve the overall experience when using Fusion. That's a wrap on the March release of Autodesk Fusion, and we're eager to see how these enhancements will be incorporated into your future projects. Be sure to explore our blog posts for additional insights.